you can understand the health of your end-to-end -end business processes with business journeys. With business processes typically spanning a distributed application environment, it can be difficult to maintain visibility on where individual journeys are in the overall process, how long it takes for them to complete, and where there are opportunities to identify and resolve bottlenecks. Teams often rely on manual effort and tribal knowledge of the individual applications to troubleshoot issues with the business process. This can lead to delays in catching issues or even worse, waiting on angry customers to call in asking where their order is or why their loan has not yet been approved. One of AD Financial's critical business functions is to help customers submit and approve loans. We've heard complaints of long delays to process loans and have mapped out the end-to-end -end loan process. In our demo, we see the average time to complete a loan is well under one minute, but in the real world, this could be days or even weeks. We also see that more than 80% of our loans are delayed. Let's drill down and look at our longer running loans that are taking over five minutes to complete. Now we're looking at a more detailed view of loan processing, and we quickly notice that most of our long running loans are associated with small business. We can apply that as a filter, and the entire dashboard will contextually update for only small business loans. And we can see that it does seem to be a broad geographical issue, but Washington DC looks like it has the longest time to process small business loans. Let's add one final filter for only small business loans taking longer than five minutes in Washington DC. We can go to our data tab and see exactly which loans those are. And if we look at one of those individual loans, we'll get a map of our entire business process from application submission to verifying documentation, credit check, underwriting complete, and ultimately a loan approval. And we can see that for this particular user, the bottleneck in the process looks like it is taking an hour and 30 minutes to complete in application submission. So huge amount of processing time between these events the final thing we want to see is, let's see if there was any application issues with application submission that might have been causing that problem. And now we see that for the application submission portion of this user's business journey, not only did it process successfully, but it did so very quickly. So this indicates that there is a bottleneck, not in the application, but somewhere in our business process once it leaves application submission before it goes to document verification. So now we have more details that we can go work with our business teams and inform that this is not an application process, but we do see users who are experiencing an issue between these two steps, and we can work together with the metadata such as loan type or geography to isolate those users and help solve the problem. And vice versa, if it would have been an application issue, then I could very quickly understand where my users are having bottlenecks and is it due to application errors, for example, in application submission or slowness, that's causing that bottleneck to occur. So with business journeys, we're now able to bring together distributed processes that may span different transactions across multiple applications and get clear visibility into where users are impacted, how much time it's taking to process those journeys, and take action to go deep dive and understand where we can relieve some of those bottlenecks.